Mike from 14 WFIE. This is Midday with Mike. For the Southwestern Indiana Home Builders Association, it's the Super Bowl. It's when dreams come true. Folks, it's the 2012 Evansville Home Builders Parade Tour. It's their premier event, and today we're going to feature the Parade of Homes in this special edition of Midday with Mike for Friday, June 1st, 2012. Hi, everyone. I'm Mike Blake. Hey, I hope you're having a great day as we end the week. Delighted to have you with us. As we often do, we take the show on the road, but today we're in-house. We've got a lot of wonderful people for you to meet in the next 45 minute home builders. And we're gonna show you homes, all different price ranges that I'm sure you're gonna enjoy taking a look at it. But first, let me introduce the co-host for our special show. You know her well. Uh, not only is she the uh, co-host of Midday with Mike from time to time, but her real day job is Director of Marketing for FC Tucker MD Realtors, Gretchen Muchnick. Gretchen, great to have you with us. Thank you. Hey, for home builders, for you as a realtor, but for people, anybody who loves to look at new homes, yeah. this is a big deal. Great week. June 2nd through the 10th, the Parade of Homes, sponsored by the Southwestern Indiana Home Builders Association, goes on. We, as FC Tucker MD Realtors, are thrilled to represent builders next week. 38 different homes. People can tour all over the city of Evansville and look at all price ranges of homes in the next week. It's really exciting time. People may ask the question, they say, okay, boy, I love this. How, how is a home, is it selected? Uh, do they bid to get in? How's a home picked or is it picked to be in the Parita homes? The wonderful builders of our community actually just enter one of their homes in. They say, I'm gonna build a home for this year's parade. It's gonna be my best work. I wanna get a lot of people in the door and show off what is really new and innovative in home building. We have some of those builders here today that we're real proud to represent as a company. Um, and it's really just an opportunity to see a lot of different styles in a lot of different locations around the area. And a lot of different price ranges. Something that's important for you as a realtor, it is truly a partnership. Explain. Yeah, we are really proud to partner with builders um, to market their amazing products. You're going to meet six of those builders today. Um, they all do incredible work, and we're really thrilled with the partnership of FC Tucker MV Realtors and each of our builders. Also, uh, it's we're going to go all over the tri-state, aren't we? We are. We're going to be. We're going to start in northern Evansville, do a couple subdivisions up there, move down closer to center Evansville, and we're going to end out in Newburgh, but 38 homes all over the city. It's going to be fun. And when we come back, our first guest joining Gretchen and me will be Randy Johnston with RJC uh, Homes Incorporated. Uh, Randy will join us. That's when Midday with Mike continues. We'll be back right after this. And joining Gretchen and me, our first guest, we're delighted to welcome Randy Johnston of RJC Incorporated. Randy, it's great to have you with us. It's good to be here. We're thrilled. And you've got a great home on the north side of Evansville. Tell us where this house is located on Volkman. Okay, it's uh, north, about one mile north of uh, North High School. And it's uh, about 500 feet before you get to Cambridge Village and golf course. Great, and it's a beautiful home in a great location. We've, we're seeing a picture of the exterior here and you've used both brick and stone. Is that a trend you're seeing in home building now for exteriors? Right, that's mainly what builders are doing now and I guess it's just a sign of the times that, that they're using. So. Great. This is located in Lincoln Dane Estates, correct? What, as a, as a, as a builder, as a developer, what, what, inc what excited you about going into this subdivision, uh, Randy? Well, I developed this subdivision, it's on the uh, like I said, one mile north of uh, the new North High School, which is, I think, the coming place to be. And, of course, Scott uh, School, and uh, it's just a great location. It's really country living in the, real close to the city, so it's a great area. When you design a home, and especially now for Lincoln Dana Estates, what were the key things? What did you say, okay, we absolutely have to have these features? Well, it's got... Um, um, open living areas that we do a lot in homes that people mm -hmm. used to be. They used to have a living room and a family room and now they make great rooms which is a good idea. It's more spacious and um, that's what we go for. This home also has some incredible views out the back. A beautiful setting. Tell us about the surrounding area around the house. Okay, it's situated on a lake and you've got about a 14 by 20 uh, wood deck that you walk out to and you view this lake 
and then behind it is nothing but uh, wheat fields. It's beautiful. Yeah, so you really so, are country living in the city. And, right, and as you're, it, there's a mixture of brick and stone, correct? Right. Is that, mm -hmm. is that one of the new trends? Randy? It is, it is. It's a new trend, and um, I really like it. And uh, I've always built pretty well with um, brick and stone, you know. It's just uh, gives it a, a distinguishing taste. Yeah. As a developer, you, are you excited about the Parade of Homes? It's a, it's a great time of the year, isn't it? Yeah, it is, it is. And so uh, I won my first parade about in 1978 which I believe is about 34 years ago. Wow. So I've been around a long time with it. And uh, so. And this house is for sale, right? I'd be remiss not to ask that question. What's it listed for, Randy? It's 160, but it is sold. Oh, good. Congratulations. Yeah. Even better. Yeah, even That's better. So, so you'll be building more, right? Right, right. <laughs> and we got five more homes to build out there. And so. Uh, Starting with, uh, we do have one lot that's 2.4 acres, so that's a big lot with uh, sewer, water, all the amenities with it. So Great. again, he's Randy Johnston, and his beautiful home is in Lincoln Dane Estates, folks, on uh, 860 Volkman Road. Best of luck in the Parade of Homes, and Randy, thanks for joining us. Thank you. Thank you. And when we come back, Brian Murphy with the uh, new urban homes. He'll join us. This is his entry in the Parade of Homes. We'll talk to Brian when Midday with Mike continues. We'll be right back. And continuing our special Midday with Mike Parade of Homes show, Gretchen and I now welcome another outstanding owner and developer. This is Brian Murphy with New Urban Homes. Brian, nice to have you with us. Thank you for having me and I appreciate Tucker's offer as well as having me on today. Yeah, it's great. You have got a fantastic development in northern Vandenberg County, Chatham Place, leading into Poet Square. That's Tell correct. us about what's going on up there. Uh, you know, we got into uh, Chadwick a couple of years ago when the market was really bad and find that as an opportunity to help refine our home building process and also step back and take a look at what we thought the environment might be moving forward in neighborhood development and community development and actually developed Poet Square, which incidentally, incidentally is gonna end up connecting uh, North High School and hopefully Scott Elementary with some of the uh, development aspects that we've put in there, not just with the home, but also with the community as well that we're trying to help foster on the north side of Evansville there. Great, and we see pictures of this listing on AJ Drive, and then there's Poet Square. Correct. And the development going on there. You can even see the North High School tennis courts in the distance, I think. That, that's correct. We're, we're really excited about being in that location and helping to uh, further a conversation with the school corporation and North High School to help, help connect the community with the school a little bit better and create a, a safe route to school. Uh, the development itself is actually kind of uh, established with that aspect in mind. And it's, there's, I understand, what a development. Am I correct? There's over 130 lots? There, there will be, yes. It's 36-acre 30, site. We've uh, incorporated some kind of traditional neighborhood design into that neighborhood, uh, sidewalks, uh, rear-fed garages, an emphasis more on the front porch, uh, not really, you know, the garage, but more of, you know, sitting on the front porch and being community-oriented. All owners, all developers, they have great influences. You were influenced by a new urbanist called Andres du Duany. Tell uh, us about And he's still <clears throat> alive, right? He is. He's very active in the new urbanist uh, movement and traditional neighborhood design, which we've kind of used as a model to kind of springboard uh, Poet Square, uh, which Chadwick will lead into uh, as uh, a model for development here in the area, we hope. Great. And we're seeing some pictures of this listing on AJ Drive. The kitchen is phenomenal. Well, thank you very Granite, much. Granite, great colors throughout. Tell us what you really focus on when designing um, this home in particular, any of your listings. Well, and in, in also with some of the energy efficiencies that we're putting in with the tankless water heaters and uh, furnace, uh, you know, we're also a component manufacturer. And as you see, it doesn't look like a very big home, but for 2,500 square feet, you know, we've tucked a lot in under the roof line. It's technically, you know, it could be a four bedroom house. Tons of room upstairs and down. And there's another, and there's a great focus on green technology. Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Not just, you know, the appliances, but also the way that we're building inside of the walls with the insulation we're using, maximizing spray foam, which really helps seal up the uh, envelope of the building as well. Yeah. Brian, we hope you have a great uh, success with the Parade of Homes. Well, Thanks. thank you very much. Th I appreciate having me. Thanks for being in here. And when we come back, Another builder, Scott Jago. You know, you've heard of uh, Bob Baffert, the trainer that's got four horses in the Derby every year. Well, Scott's a busy guy. He's got four homes in the Parade of Homes. We'll talk about Jago Homes when this special edition of Midday with Mike, the Parade of Homes, brought to you by FC Tucker MD Realtors, continues.
Folks, we're now going to take you to another lovely subdivision called The Orchard. And to do the honors, we welcome Scott Jago of Jago Homes. But beforehand, Scott, a couple of years ago, 2010, your company was voted the National Builder of the Year. What an honor. That had to be, what a, what a trip for that, huh? Yeah, we're very lucky, fortunate to get that. And as you said, it was an honor. Talk about, uh, you've got four homes, but let's talk about one on Criterion Way. Uh, what excites you about this home? What were the things that as a, as a builder you said, okay, I want this thing to be so-so? Well, you know, it's a great location. It's right off of uh, Chris Road. It's, um, everybody remembers Engelbrecht Orchard, so we're right sure. next to it. And uh, it's a craftsman style home, just under 1,700 square feet, loaded down with uh, a lot of the features that the uh, home buyer's looking for today. Uh, it's a great family home, uh, safe location, great schools. Yeah, and this is actually your model home, which we can see on the screen now. Different exterior than what you might typically see in our area, and something really unique, your Craftsman series. Tell us about that and the thoughts and the design. You know, Craftsman really uh, is arts and crafts, and it yeah. was, you know, really strong surge of arts and crafts in the 50s. Um, it was really one Craftsman trying to outdo the next one as you go down the, you know, street, and everybody would try to outdo the next person. Um, you can see a lot of the elements in this, uh, in this home, inside and outside. Uh, exterior wise it would just be stones, bricks, sidings, uh, brackets and so forth could be open rafters that you see outside. Inside it would be nice clean lines. Um, you know, so it's, it's, you can see a lot of that in Old Evansville as well. And this is also energy smart. How does a home qualify to be energy smart? Energy smart basically is one of our tags. This year, or actually this is the third year that we've won from the EPA the leadership in energy, in energy star. So many of the homes that we built meet that criteria. You have to go through a HERS rating, which is the home energy rating system. And, you know, unlike miles per gallon on a vehicle that you're trying to get high, that number you're trying to get low. Mm -hmm. uh, we typically hit in the 50s and 60s in that, uh, on that number, which is, as a percentage, better than what the uh, energy code requires you to be. Putting four homes, Gretchen and I were yeah. talking about this. I, my gosh, I, I'd be nuts trying to just make sure the one is perfect. But you really want each of the four to be dramatically different from the other. That's right. We don't sleep during this time. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine. But, you know, we've had great weather, so that's certainly helped. Of course, we had a big rain last night. Um, uh, really didn't hurt anything. We're ready for it this year. And um, as you go through and experience each of the different homes, you will see different uh, options, custom options that you can do, different floor plans that uh, uh, may fit your needs. If somebody wants to learn more about Jago Homes, where do they go, Scott? How do they find more about what you all offer? JagoHomes.com is the easiest way. Good. Uh, certainly this uh, week, uh, you definitely want to come out to the parade, tour the homes. Uh, go see them all, not just ours. You need to go through all the homes and uh, get an eye what you, idea of what you want to do. You can take our floor plans, customize those if you wish, um, but the website would be the first spot. Scott Jago, we wish you the best. Thanks for coming in this yeah, morning. Appreciate you Delighted us. to have you. And when our special continues, we're going to take a look at some more Lovely's Home. Uh, Shane Clements, Homes by Eagle Construction. That's next when Midday with Mike continues. We'll be back in just a moment. In this segment, we want to show you a lovely home out in McCutcheonville in Creekside Meadows. It's a home by Eagle Construction. This is the designer, Shane Clements. Shane, great to have you with us today well, as well. Thanks for having us today on. It's great. It's great to have you here. This is a big house, 2,200 square feet. Yeah. Uh, tell us a little bit about the design and the floor plan of this great home. Well, it is a split design where you have the master bedroom one side and the other two bedrooms on the other. Then the main living space is in the middle of the home. And upstairs we have a really nice bonus room that's actually, it's oversized, it has a wet bar, a half bath, and a closet. So it's a really great entertaining area or someone could make it a nice size bedroom upstairs too. 
I was telling you before we got on, the kitchen in this house, is it just looks enormous. It's really big, very beautiful. What are you seeing in terms of kitchen design, and what are you building into your homes uh, for customers in terms of the kitchen area, which we know is so important in every home? Really an island. Everybody wants an island. Uh, we like to have an island and maybe an overhang, both. So you have multiple spaces. Uh, kids can do homework. You can have parties. Just a lot of places to put food. We're a trendy society, Shane. Are there other trends in home design that you said, you know what, I think we better go with this uh, here at Creekside? The open floor plan design, as the other builders have mentioned, is by far the biggest. Bigger bedrooms, bigger living spaces. And of course, another thing in 2012, energy efficiency. It's a key from the start. What are you proud of about homes by Eagle Construction? Well, you know, we started Energy Star in 2000. We started before anybody ever really considered it. And then 2001, we had our first Energy Star home, so we've been in over a decade. Uh, you know, you have to build a home right when you frame it. I mean, it's not an afterthought of putting in just one appliance. I mean, it's a whole system to build a home. Great, so it's designed from the start with Homes by Eagle, which is great. I love the tile work in this kitchen. Are you doing a lot of backsplash and, and the design there really is gorgeous. Do you see that in a lot of Eagle homes now? We do that almost every home, yeah. uh, ceramic backsplash. Uh, and we put a mosaic in the middle now. It kind of mm -hmm. matches the mosaic that's in the uh, master shower. Uh -huh. uh, if the picture comes up, you'll see we kind of complement those two areas. Pulls the whole house together. Yeah, a lot of people out there are saying, you know what, I'm thinking of building a home. What are the things, knowing the business as you do, what are the things people should consider when thinking of building a home? Uh, first, find out what you can afford. Uh, get pre-qualified. I mean, that saves a lot of time and a lot of heartache for many people. Uh, once you know that, where do you want to live in town? Kind of what home you want to build? Yeah. And you guys have a fantastic showroom. I know, I think it's intimidating to build a new home. And the showroom helps take some of that intimidation factor out. Tell us about the showroom and where it is, Shane. It's a 2,500 square feet full-size uh, kitchen, two full-size bathrooms, uh, large areas to spread out, pull all your colors together just to design your home. It's on Vogel Road between Burkhart and Green River. One-stop shopping. Yes. Okay. That's great. Hey, great advice. We hope you have a great parade of homes. Great. Thank you, Mike. Again, Shane Clements, uh, Homes by Eagle Construction. And when we come back, we've got a twofer for you. Carolyn Egan with FC Tucker, MD Realtors, and Bill Cotman with Cotman Construction. They're going to tell us all about uh, the PEF. What is that? The Public Education Foundation Home. When Midday with Mike continues. And joining us, we've got two wonderful guests. First, uh, Carolyn Egan, uh, who is also with FC Tucker MD Realtors, and Bill Cotman, the owner of Cotman Construction. Guys, it is great to have you with us. And we're going to be talking about the PEF home. What, what is the Public Education Foundation home, Bill? Uh, it's a Public Education Foundation home, and, it's, and uh, we sponsor that home for the Career and Technical Center for the construction trades. And they build a house every year. I think they've done 25 of them. And, uh, they do part of that on site. They build a house. It takes them about nine months to build that home. And then uh, they spend the other part of their time in the classroom. And it's a junior, senior uh, project for them. Great. C Carolyn, tell us where this house in particular is located. And I think it's for sale now, right? Yes, it is for sale. Thank okay. you. Uh, it's located right off Oak Hill Road in Ellington Ridge, uh, which is a very popular subdivision. It's very close to, uh, you know, the highway and, and the uh, airport, and it's just a very convenient location. This is truly a partnership. Where do the where do the students first? It's a partnership. You've got uh, you've got the school, you've got the builder, mm -hmm. and uh, the construction, right? Yes, uh, they uh, uh, it's their design, and it's a uh, little over sixteen hundred, I think, square feet. And say they start at the beginning of the school year, and then uh, finish uh, at the end of the school year and have, uh, uh, and it goes up for sale at that, at that particular time. And it's a, uh, uh, they, do a, they do a nice job. They do almost everything in it except they don't lay the carpet, they don't finish the, they don't finish the drywall, uh, they don't do the plumbing, but they do the heating and air. Uh, there are six teachers and they're all licensed. Great. What? So, I'm sorry. Uh, so they partner and they're actually learning. It's really, right. truly the definition of on-the-job training. Right. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so they're in there doing the work. The home is designed by the class. Yes. Great stuff. Good. What, and, and, how, you market all kinds of homes. What's the cha what are the challenges of marketing a home like this it's, as a realtor? It's really a pleasure because it's priced very well. 
very, very competitively. And it, um, as you can see, it has stainless appliances. It has a granite countertop, a uh, nice open floor plan with a great room and large deep windows, which is very nice. And it's got to be, guys, uh, when we were in school, uh, did they have something like this? This has got, what an educational tool. It's gone on for, well, they've done 25 houses, so they've gone on some time. And, and it was probably started a little time after you got out of school. <laughs> but uh, uh, but they, have, they have done this program, uh, as I say, for 25 years. And uh, uh, the thing that's really nice since they've done, done the uh, Career and Technical Center is that they not only do part of the program on site, uh, part of the teaching program on site, but they also do some of the teaching in a, in a lab in the, in the technical center. Got it. Guys, we're out of time, but hey, we thank you. Brother and sister, uh, Carolyn Egan, Bill Kotman. Guys, thanks for coming by. We hope it's a wonderful parade of home for Kotman and for you thank as well. Thank you very Carolyn. much. Thanks yeah. for having us. Thank you. You got it. When we come back, another well known home builder, uh, Ron McGillum, is going to show us an R.A. McGillum custom home. Uh, we're going to take you to the Enclave. That's when Midday continues. You're watching Midday with Mike, and we're back after this. And again, we're continuing our special Midday about the Parade of Homes. Delighted to welcome. This guy's a veteran of the Parade of Homes house tour. It's 25th year. This is Ron McGillum of RA McGillum Custom Homes. Ron, it's an honor to have you with us as well. Thanks for coming in. Thank you, Mike, for having me. Great, and you've got a really unique property geared a little bit differently, the Enclave is, than some of the other homes we've heard about today. Tell us about your target audience for this yeah. home. Yes, the Enclave at Woodfield is a um, neighborhood of uh, 12 exclusive home sites in a gated uh, community, uh, and it's designed for the discriminating 55 plus buyer. So we have several home designs ranging from 2,500 to 3,500 square feet that will have all of the amenities that this buying segment is used to having in a much larger home. Also, there, there are a lot of amenities when people move into such a, you know, an area. What are they asking? What are the things they want? What are the things you want to make sure you build? Well, what we're doing in the Enclave is as you become a resident of the Enclave, the Homeowners Association will be taking care of all of the lawn maintenance, uh, the annual remulching, uh, the fertilization, uh, trimming of the bushes, uh, snow re removal, and trash removal. So this really gives you and provides a uh, low maintenance luxury living for these residents. And, and when you go inside, this is a, clearly a beautiful home, as everybody can see. What are some of the really amazing amenities about, say, the kitchen? Um, in the kitchen, we're seeing several different things that, uh, that are happening right now. We're seeing glazes on the cabinetry. Uh, granite is still the king as far as countertops, but we are seeing some uh, uh, pr processes that that are suede granite, which makes them more textured in, uh, in shape and things. But probably one of the most exciting things that we're seeing in the kitchen is the fact that we're moving the kitchen outdoors because everybody is interested in outdoor living and that takes it to another level. Great. Because this isn't your first rodeo, as they say, what advice do you have for the young couple or the couple that say, you know what, we're considering building a home. What are the things they really should know? Well, the short answer is they need to buy or build now because we're at historically low interest interest rates and now is the best time to go out and buy or build. Um, from my experience on building though is, is that do your due diligence to select a builder and rather than going and getting a half a dozen different prices and comparing apples to oranges, work with that builder through the design process. The hardest thing that any builder does is build other people's perceptions and the easiest way to understand their perceptions is if you're able to work with them through the design process, it will give them a lot nicer finish on the end from the building standpoint. Well said. Ron, we hope it's a great uh, Parade of Homes tour for McGillum and Custom Homes. Thanks for being our guest. Thank you very much. Thank you for and having me. And when Gretchen and I come back, one more segment, a nice guy by the name of Bill Petke, a knowledgeable guy. We're going to tell you where you can go to see these beautiful homes. Uh, do you need a ticket? He'll answer those questions when Midday with Mike is back. Stay with us. Leaders. And in our final segment, we bring in a guy that knows a lot about the Parade of Homes Tour. He's the executive director of the Southwestern Indiana Home Builders Association, Bill Petke. Bill, thanks for being with us. 
Uh, Ron McGillan has been in at least 25 parade homes. How long has it been going? The parade Take started in 1951. Oh my gosh. There was a contest of home design and a Wrights High School student won the contest and we used his design. Builders came together, built that house, put it on exhibit and we're, we started there and here we are today. Great. So how, 61 how many years. homes are in the parade this year? This year we're glad to have 38 houses in this year's parade. That's yeah, fantastic. I'm glad you, about it. People may say, hey, do I need a ticket? Uh, no, admission is free. Don't need to have a ticket. If you want to make the most of it, try to get to our website first and you can pick out a lot of information about homes. The website this year is way more searchable than it has been, many more criteria. Also, we have an app. Go to... Right. Tell um, us about the app. Tell us about the well, app. Well, the app, you can search for SIBA, S-I-B-A, Parade, and it should come up. And then also what we have this year is a, a content, or drawing. The um, grand prize is a $4,000 landscape makeover, and it's supplied and sponsored by Combs Landscaping. And you have to go to Combs Landscape at Burkhart and Lynch Road and enter. And then every time you go to a parade house, you can scan the QR at that house and enter the drawing again, improving your chances again and again and again. <laughs> great, so we could go to 38 homes, we could get 38 entries into this contest. That's well, actually great. 39 if you do the first one at home. Great, that's good. And this book so, that you have in your hands, where do folks get those if they don't want to go to the website? Where can we find these parade books? You can get these uh, books at Combs, Heritage Federal, Benthal Brothers, uh, Courier Press, as, uh, their office, German American Bank, Kite Home Center, and Vectran. Hey, it's a great time, as some of the builders have told us. What excites you as the executive director about this group of builders? Because you got a good group, don't you? Builders is all they give me to work with, so <laughs> I, I, I'm, I'm kind of in, uh, in the middle of it all. But uh, this, this year's parade really excites me because it is a good sign that housing in our market is coming back. The, the trends are starting to go positive. Uh, the bad times, I think, are behind us, and it's a great time to go out and, and buy a new home. Yeah, and these homes are actually in competition. Tell us about the judging that happens on Monday morning, right. how, how that works and the awards that you give well, out. Well, we get judges who are builders from out of our market, from out of town, and they come in, and on Monday morning, they'll go out, and they use a scoring sheet, and they just give scores, and we add them up, and uh, the best overall, to highest total is home of the year, and then uh, the others can win best kitchen, best interior, best bath, best exterior. It's a great competition, but it's just more reason to go out there and see these houses. Guys, we are out of time. Bill Petke, also Gretchen Munchen from uh, FC Tucker MD Realtors. Hey, hope you've enjoyed the <laughs> Parade of Tour, house tour at Parade of Homes. Guys, thanks. It's been, uh, it's been great. We hope it's a very successful June 2nd through the 10th. Hey, you've been watching Midday with Mike. I'll see you again Monday. Have a great weekend, everybody.